hello welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to be combining all our parts together in an assembly and so what we need to do is um, start bring start a new assembly file and now we can browse to our location where your folder and start bringing in each part the first one we're going to bring in is the um, not the top plate the steel plate because that's the one on the top which is this right here so we're going to click open and for the first one you're just going to click the OK button just to drop it because that one gets fully constrained then let me minimize this just to create more space so now we can start bringing in other parts so now the next thing we can go to inside components and we can bring in our top plate and we only need one of that so I'm just going to drop it right there and now we make this um, portrait to this portrait and we can make the two corners so that way everything is fully constrained so we have that so which these two corners fully constrained it so we can move it left and right we can only drag it up and down so now we want to select this face and that face and we have that and we are done and we can bring in the next part which we can bring in the axle so browse to your file location select it not the axle the axle support so click open and click this pin keep visible and now we're just going to drop it in there two times so and click OK so again we're going to make select this face and this face for that hole to make those hole concentric and select this hole and this hole to have a concentric make and select this face and that face to bring it up good so we are going to do the same thing on this part so if you right click right click on this holding it you can use that to rotate it so you right click and hold and you can use that to rotate it this way and now we're going to uh, make select this hole and that hole make um, select this hole and this hole make and we can select this face and this face and good so that is done and we can move on to the next part so the next part we can bring in is the bushing so insert browse bushing and open and again click that pin and you want to drop two parts in there and click ok and now flip the direction and now we want to make this to that click OK this face to that face and click OK you want to do the same thing here this face to that face OK and this face to this face and click OK and the next thing we can bring in is the wheel so insert component browse and the wheel open we're just gonna drop one in there and we want to select this um, circle mate so you want to select that circle and this circle and mate together so that's a concentric so we want this to be we want this um, wheel to be center here you can do it depending on how we designed this very well so we can actually use our plane to um, center this but SOLIDWORKS has a good feature which is really why I really like SOLIDWORKS because there is an advanced mate that you can use the weight mate to center this so how that works is um, you select your weight mate and you select the two outer edges the two outer face in this top box so you select those first so I have those two in there and in this second box you select the two inside face so I select that face and this face and click OK as you can see 
now this wheel is centered and that's exactly what we want so we have that made and the last the last thing we need to bring in is that um, axle support not the axle so browse the axle and open just gonna drop it and we can make select this face and this face to make it concentric then we need to use the same um, the same type of mid feature we just did the width mid so we're gonna say mid um, advance the width we want to select this outside face make sure in this toolbox the outside face and the inside face we want to select this face and this face so that axle support is centered in that wheel so we can section it so you see what's going on so if we section it about the front plane you see we don't have any interference everything looks really good and the only thing we need to do now is add the bolts and if you notice we actually didn't design the bolt because let's say you're making this part actually you're going to be making this part right you wouldn't be designing the bolt yourself because you wouldn't be manufacturing the bolt because it's just going to take more time to do that so typically you just buy the bolts and the nuts for this so I want you to get into a practice where anytime you're designing something in SOLIDWORKS, when you come across bolts and nuts in the bill of material, instead of modeling them, you can just find a vendor that you can buy it from. So as long as you have the description. So, um, so for this, the bill of material for this, we have the description over here for this bolt. It is a three three eight bolt, which is one point seven five long in USC. And the nut is the same thing so we need a bolt nut and a lock washer so because the lock washer the way the vendor makes it is not always flat so we're just gonna use a regular washer as long as it's 3 8 so that's the bolt we need so a good vendor that most people always reference for us is McMaster car so I'm just going to go to their website and let me minimize this for a second so in here you can just in the search button you can just type in 38 38 um, X bolts and click OK so you have the, this option and we can select the X edge screw again so we have all this option we select the X edge screw then um, so we want the steel excess screw so it's the steel right here and we want the ice ice train excess screw grade 8 we can select that one so it brings us to this that we have the full and partial we, we know we want the partial um so and this are a couple of ways you can minimize you can actually filter it over here the length we know our length is uh, 1.75 and over here they actually the good thing is they gave us the link to the nuts for this bolt and the washer which is great so that way we can right click on this to go to the nut and right i'll just do that now right click open it in a new tab right click open that in a new tab so i really don't have to go look for it i can just download it directly so now all we need to do is we fit tie with one in 1.75 and the size we want a three is three eighths we can use three eighths by 24. so and we want partial and there is two two partial three by 24. we can use this zinc aluminium coated um so if we select this um we can select product detail and it brings us brings us to this page and uh, let me maximize this so you can see there you go so you see over here they have a list of different files they have that you can download the card file so what we're going to do is just we put it on SOLIDWORKS 3D and make sure it's the same as point um, um, it's 38 by 20 um, by 24 1.75 which is what we need and you have all the information for this boat over here and you just click save so this is going to um, let me 
click save so you have this option and just click save and it's going to save somewhere in my um, my download so I have it over here so I'm just going to um, cut that and paste it into my project folder so I'm just gonna go back to my uh, project folder I need to find where I saved it uh, my project folder is somewhere in here cast assembly and I'm just gonna paste it in there so I have my bolt and I'll do the same thing for the nut um, nut is over here we need we're using the 38 by 24 I'll click on that product detail uh, save okay and I can go find it in my folder right here again I'll cut it and I just paste it in my uh, project folder that's the assembly uh, paste and we need a washer so the washer is right here and the washer is 3 8 okay. this one product detail save okay and find it in the folder cut and um, go back to my um, project folder and I'm just gonna paste it in there so I have all the parts I need now so I can minimize this um, come back to my assembly insert and browse and I'm going to select my bolt open click this pane and I'm going to drop this bolt in there four times click OK then I'm going to select mate this bolt to that hole okay this bolt on this face to that okay just make sure it's concentric every time you have the mate so the, your mate should be concentric click OK and I'm going to do this to there and click OK then we can select this face um, this face to that face enter um, this face to this face enter this face to that face enter and this face to this face and enter and click OK so now we can bring in our washer so I'm um, going to go to me I'm not made inside component browse uh, bring in the washer open click this drop it four times and click OK and for this because we actually don't have any circular face here to select for the face make so what we can do is you can go to view um, show hide and show show temporary axis so you have your temporary axis for the boat and the washer so all you need to do is mate select the axis and select the center axis and it mates it and you do the same thing for all four bolts or we could even do one side and mirror it to another side it's still gonna be the same thing you can just figure out whichever way you like to work best to be more efficient so I'm gonna select that axis and this axis so that and that and click OK so now all we need to do is select the face this face and that face OK this face and that face enter select this face and that face enter and select this face and that face enter so we have our washer in the next thing we need now is just the nuts so insert components browse select the nuts open and I'm going to click that and drop it in there four times 
and click OK. I guess when this was made, they forgot to hide this sketch and this helix, so I'm just going to hide those because it could get confusing. Uh, let me hide this. And you hide it by just selecting it, and you see the little eyeball, then you press that to hide it. So again, we'll make the, um, the axis to each other. This axis to that. Um, this axis to this axis. And this axis to that axis. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to make the face. Um, this face to this face. Um, this face to this face. This face to that one. And this face to this face. Click OK. And we are pretty much done. So now all we can do is go back to our view, show ID, we can hide that temporary axis, and our part is fully constrained, and everything looks really good. So what we can do next is just add the material. So let's just do a polish steel for the plates. Something you can pick any material you want. Um, so when you add it, when so let's say in the assembly, when I drag my appearance to the to the part, right? You have different options. The first one is the face. The first, the second one is the feature. The the third one is the body, and the fourth one is the part itself. And the last one is it only adds that appearance in the assembly. So I always select the the part itself. So the axle support. That's where I want to add it to. So as you can see, this up the appearance for this also changed. And I would um, do um, something different for this plate up here. And um, for the for the bushing, we can um, select. So if I select the metal, I will just do um, bronze over here for that bushing and for the let me select the steel and I'm looking for machine steel machine steel for the bolts and um, the same thing machine steel for the nuts and machine steel for the washer I need to zoom in. I don't know why I'm working that way. So machine steel for the washer. Okay. Um. What else? Oh. I think I just did something wrong. So I'll just back up a little bit. I guess I can back up. So my appearance, I ended up... Anyway, that's how you add the appearance. I did something wrong when I just did. And it's not letting me back up. So I'm just going to remove all this appearance there you go and re-add it again so that is how you add the appearance to the part and once you add it and you're done anyway thank you and this took longer than i expected thank you anyway for your patience and i will see you in the next tutorial bye